Hi, welcome to today's lesson. The topic for the day is types of computers. Before we dive into different types of computers, it is important for us to understand what a computer is and how a computer functions or works. What is a computer? Simply put, it's an electronic device that processes information and stores it in the form of data. For a computer to function properly, there are several components that must work together. These components are known as hardware and software. A hardware is any physical component of a computer. With this, you might be thinking of keyboard, mouse, CPU or central processing unit, motherboard, and other uh, components like uh, speakers, printers, and microphone. All these things are physical. You can actually touch them and they help the computer to function properly. For example, a CPU, which is the brain of a computer. Without a CPU, a computer might not function properly, especially desktop computers. On the other hand, software simply give instructions to a computer. It tells a computer what to do. So like I mentioned, this component helps a computer to function properly. So you think of software and hardware that all functions together to make a computer work and perform the tasks that uh, we all want or desire. Examples of software could include uh, Microsoft Office, Word programs like Excel, and you could, you could equally think of operating systems like Windows. All these components help a computer to function properly. But then, there are different types of computers that we are thinking of. It's a modern world and there are lots and lots of uh, invention as far as technology is concerned, including computers. The first four main types of computers is a desktop. People use desktop at the office to complete work. Another one is a lap laptop which is a bit of mobile, it's easy to carry around as compared to a desktop. These are also different forms of uh, computers and different companies produce different types of laptop. The other one you might want to think of is a tablet. We have different types of tablet out there. You think of uh, popular brands like Apple, Samsung, is equally a form of computer and it uses battery. It's very, very handy and hell easy to carry around and the fourth major type of computer that you have to understand is a server a server simply transmit information to other computers so these are four major types of computers that you have to know as a young learner into the world of computing however do not think that there exists just these four types of computers there are others in fact in today's world, with lots of technology, we use computers in our daily life. You think of the ATM machine that you go out to withdraw money from. That is a computer. It uses a computer system. You equally think of wearables like smart watches. Those are equally types of computers. You think of your TV. They are equally types of computers. There are lots and lots of other examples of uh, types of computers that we may give. However, the difference is they each perform different tasks. So there you go. These are various types of computers that you have to understand as young learners. I hope this video helps you to further understand computer as you begin your journey in understanding what computer science is all about. Thanks for watching and this is Dango's Diary. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button on the channel. See you next time. I love you all. Bye.